Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Things are getting so heated up already for Julius Malema as apparently there is a call for arrest of Julius Malema if and only if he received all Ekuruleni tenders and this has caused a great stir. Guys, a Twitter user actually went ahead and posted something very cryptic and I'm here to give you all the entire details. Before that, kindly do well to follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. Point to be noted is the fact that every single detail in today's video is with respect to what Patricia Bantom posted who is the person who actually went as far as posting stuff about Julius Malema. The recent election results are likely to bring about significant changes for the economic freedom fighters, that is the EFF. Notably, adjustments to the mayoral committee has led to the removal of Nkululeko Dunga from his role as the member of the mayoral committee for finance. This move has triggered a wave of reactions and discussions, particularly centering around EFF leader Julius Malema. Patricia Bantom, a former EFF member, made a striking comment on social media and I quote, I applaud the ANC for finally removing Dunga as MMC for finance. The real financial reports will be exposed. If indeed all the tenders of Ekuruleni were awarded to Julius Malema, they must be all arrested. This has caused a great stir on the socials as this post has sparked various responses with some suggesting that Bantom is attempting to shift the blame onto Malema despite the primary issue being Dunga's removal. Allegations concerning Malema and the Ekuruleni tenders have not yet been substantiated. It is crucial to approach these claims with caution until credible evidence is provided. The political environment in South Africa is often volatile and such accusations can sometimes be part of broader political strategies. Nonetheless, the situation raises important questions about transparency and accountability within municipal governance. If there are indeed irregularities in the awarding of tenders, a thorough investigation is essential to maintain public trust. The ANC's decision to remove Dunga could be interpreted as an effort to address these concerns, but the true impacts will depend on the forthcoming financial report and the actions that follow. On the other hand, some commentators argue that Bantam's remarks might be motivated by personal grievances or political ambitions rather than an objective concern for financial integrity. The interplay of personal vendettas and political strategy is a common feature in politics, making it essential for observers to critically assess the motivations behind such statements. Adding to the complexity, an article from the Mail and Guardian highlights that political infringement and factionalism within the EFF might also be contributing factors to the turmoil. The internal dynamics of the party coupled with external political pressures, create a challenging environment for clear and unbiased assessments. Moreover, a report from the South African Institute of Race Relations, that is the SAIRR, emphasizes the need for greater scrutiny and transparency in municipal governance across the country. The SAIRR argues that incidents like the one in Ekuruleni underscores the importance of robust oversight mechanisms to prevent corruption and ensure accountability. In conclusion, while the recent changes in Ekuruleni's mayoral committee and the allegations against Julius Malema have generated substantial debate, it remains vital to distinguish facts from speculation. The calls for arrest hinge on the validation of claims regarding tender allocations, which, if proven, would necessitate legal action. For now, the focus should be on obtaining clear and impartial information to fully comprehend these developments and their implications for, for both the EFF and the broader political landscape in South Africa. Right now, without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to give me your honest opinions in the comment section. Do all to take good care of yourselves. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And above all, see you all in our subsequent uploads too, please.